Hello, everyone. As we mentioned uh, a couple of days ago, during this time uh, of social distancing, when we can't be together and we can't have everyone here in the, in the church, we are gonna kind of just do some virtual tours <clears throat> to remind everybody of the beautiful um, religious art in the church and uh, the symbols of uh, that we see present when we do come to the church, just as a way of keeping everybody in touch. And today, we'd like to just uh, do a virtual tour of our stained glass windows in, in the church to remind you of uh, what they are and what they represent. And so we'll kind of do this, this virtual tour as we show you each window. And uh, we'll begin with uh, the side uh, alcove over here uh, as you're looking at the altar to the right, something you don't see very much, but that was originally the uh, baptismal uh, area where the baptismal clock was, and so the windows in there represent the sacrament of baptism. Next, uh, we have a beautiful window of Mary, Mother of the Church. It depicts the Blessed Mother, and below her, is the image of St. Peter's Basilica, representing the church, and the coat of arms of the Diocese of Allentown, because Mary is the patron of the Diocese of Allentown. Next, we have the large window depicting the resurrection uh, of our Lord. This is on the south side of the church, um, facing Howard Avenue, the resurrection of Jesus, the central mystery uh, of our faith is depicted. Next, we have the depiction of the Assumption of our Blessed Mother uh, into Heaven. Following that, we have the Nativity of our Lord represented in the next stained glass window. You'll notice that there are two different kinds of windows in the church. Uh, the, the older windows, the six windows that we're showing you now, uh, are from the original church. The newer-looking modern windows were put in in 1970 when the church was renovated. So you see there are two different styles of windows in the church. Next, in the choir loft, and this, this window is somewhat blocked with the extension of the choir loft, but we have there uh, Mary, Queen of Heaven, and her the depiction of Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Also in the choir loft, on the other side, on the north side, is the Queenship of Mary depicted. The sixth window is the visitation, Mary visiting her cousin, Elizabeth. Following that, the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel announcing that Mary was chosen to be the mother of our Lord. Next, we have the large window on the north side of the church, which faces Mahantucko Street, is St. Patrick teaching the people of Ireland, the patron of our church, teaching the people of Ireland. Also up in the side choir loft is a depiction of Jesus with the children. Let the little ones come to me. For to such as these belong the kingdom of God. Underneath that side choir loft, we have two smaller windows. The tenth window uh, depicts the coat of arms of the Boyle family, the family of Monsignor Boyle, uh, with the Latin saying, Dominus Provide, which means the Lord provides. Monsignor Boyle, of course, oversaw the renovation of the church in 1970, and he placed that window there with his family coat of arms. 
And next to that is the coat of arms of Bishop Mache, who was the bishop of the diocese at the time the church was renovated. Back in the alcove on the left of the side of the church, where the altar servers often sit, uh, is the coat of arms of Pope St. Paul VI. That kind of represents in stained glass, if you will, some of the central truths of our faith um, that have been adorning this sacred building for some time. So we're happy to share that with you today uh, as a way to keep you connected with us and to remind us of the beauty of this house of God, uh, the Church of St. Patrick. We continue to pray for each other that we will soon be reuniting here once again around the Eucharistic table of our Lord. We ask that you continue to pray for each other and continue to stay safe and well and to pray for a speedy end to the uh, coronavirus crisis that, be, that befalls the whole world. May our Lord continue to walk with us as he does through this time, as he always does, and to be our strength, our hope, and our joy. God bless you.